Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Tahoe D-Generation right here from year 2006 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the fuse for the driver information center is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tubes, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stand till the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or a Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We'll be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition, guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the driver information center fuse, where you can expect to find it. If you have problems with driver information center not working, check that fuse first. We'll demonstrate on Chevy Tahoe. Suburban is practically the same vehicle, built on the same platform, just a little bit longer. You have three different fuse boxes. Today we're working one that's okay uh, behind the driver door. Open the driver door. Here on the side of the dash you have a cover. Open that cover and you'll find interior fuse box with a layout that will look just like this one here. Now, before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so the driver information center fuse by the way if you guys need to buy fuses relays parts tools for your chevy tahoe or suburban or practically any car at a really good price quick shipping we'll share a link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste money and time here what we have you start counting the fuse numbers like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two fuse number twenty two right here that will be guys okay the fuse that you will need to check for the driver information center hopefully the video will be helpful and see you guys next time <laughs> 